I have the base model of the Samsung Galaxy S23 here, and in today's video I'll be showing you how to gain root access to it with a popular tool called Majesk. Not only will this work with the standard model here, but this process will be exactly the same for the larger Galaxy S23 Plus, as well as the Galaxy S23 Ultra. Before you can begin this tutorial though, you must have already unlocked the phone's bootloader. I showed you how to do this in yesterday's video on the channel, so to prevent this from being longer than it needs to be, I'll include a link down in the video description below to that guide. I also need to point out that rooting your device, just like unlocking the bootloader, does mean that you will erase everything on it. So if you have any important data, then you should back that up before completing this tutorial. Once your bootloader has been unlocked, you will then need to download and extract the firmware that is currently installed on your device. I use a program called Freya to do this, but you can get it from any trusted source that you like. And I'll have a link to a couple of these methods down below as well. This is the firmware that I downloaded using Freya. And then when I extract the contents of it, I am given these five files here. You may end up with six files in your firmware, as I see that some of them come with a user data file. But in mo most cases, you will have five of them for the Galaxy S23, Galaxy S23 Plus, and the Galaxy S23 Ultra. Now we're gonna take the firmware file that begins with the letters AP, and we're gonna copy that file to our Galaxy S23. So since the Galaxy S23 series has a new file system change, the official version of Majisk has not been patched to support the Galaxy S23. So for now, we're going to need to download this alpha build of Majisk from Black Mesa 123. I'll include the download link to that in the video description below. Once that has been downloaded, we can open up the file and install the Majisk application like normal. When we open it up, you're going to see an update button here for the app. But as of right now, we should ignore this until the official build of Majisk has been updated to include these patches. We're just going to need to ignore this update button and use this alpha build from Black Mesa. So now we're going to patch that AP file by tapping on the install button there. Now we're going to choose the select and patch a file option. And then it's going to take us to a file browser. Now we need to locate the firmware file that begins with the letters AP that we just copied to our device. Select it and then tap the let's go button right here. Now we're going to wait for Majisk to extract the image files that it needs and then patches them with the required changes. And as long as we don't get any error messages within this log window here, we should be told that the firmware has been patched and that the app is given us a file labeled Majisk underscore patched and it should be within the same folder that we loaded that file in. So we're going to connect this device back to our PC with the USB cable and we're going to copy this Majisk underscore patched file into the same folder as our other firmware files for the Galaxy S23, Galaxy S23 Plus, or the Galaxy S23 Ultra that you're working with. You are also going to need to download a program called Odin 
So if you don't have this on your computer already, I'll include a link to the same version that I'm using in this video. This file needs to be downloaded and extracted onto your desktop or laptop PC. And then we're going to launch the Odin EXE file. We also need to boot the Galaxy S23 into download mode. And again, if you're not familiar with how this is done, then be sure to check the video description below as I'll have a link to a dedicated tutorial that I have done that shows you all of the steps involved. So now we have the smartphone in download mode. And if you haven't pressed the volume up button from within that splash screen, do so so that we are actually in download mode with the big white down arrow being displayed on the screen. And we have connected it to the PC with a USB cable. Within Odin, you should see that the program has detected the phone. So you should see a line here saying added. And it should be within one of these windows here telling you that it has detected this on a specific COM port. So let's go ahead and get Odin ready by loading up these firmware files into the program one by one. We're gonna start by clicking the BL button right here. Browse to wherever we have the Galaxy S23 firmware files. And then we're going to select the firmware file that begins with the letters BL. Then we're going to click the CP button here. And again, we're going to choose the file that begins with the letters CP. We're then going to click the CSC button here. And there's going to be two CSC files. If you are just installing an update and have already rooted the device, you can select the home underscore CSC file. But if you are going from an unrooted state to a rooted device, we need to select the file that just begins with the letters CSC. And again, if your firmware came with a sixth file that, that is labeled user data, then we can load that from within here. If yours did not include that, just as mine did not, then we're going to leave that blank. So the last thing that we are going to load into Odin is that Majisk underscore patched file. Since we patched the file that begins with the letters AP, we're going to click the AP button here and then select the Majisk underscore patched file. Here's a look at my options tab, just in case you have changed yours in the past. When you're ready to begin, make sure your device is in a secure location and that the USB connection is not going to be disconnected in any way. So there's no need to handle the phone, no need to move or wiggle the USB cable. If the connection from the smartphone to your PC is disturbed while the firmware is being flashed, then you could end up with a bricked smartphone. So let's go ahead and click on the start button down here at the bottom. And now we're going to wait for all of these files to be copied to your Galaxy S23, Galaxy S23 Plus, or Galaxy S23 Ultra. You'll notice that even though we only loaded four files within this program, Odin is going to be copying a lot more. That's because each of these firmware files contain many smaller files, and Odin is going to extract them so that they can be flashed to the proper partition. Not only will you be able to monitor the progress by looking at this meter here, 
and making sure that it is continuing to move. But you will also see a progress meter on your Galaxy S23 device as well. Now, if everything goes smoothly, you should not see any error messages from within this log window, and you should get a green pass message up here once the process is complete. You'll also know that everything has finished when your Samsung Galaxy S23 has rebooted. Remember, we have just erased everything on the device, so your first boot back into Android will take longer than normal. When the phone boots back up, give it a minute or two for it to complete the setup process, and then look in the app drawer to see if you have a Majisk application icon somewhere. If you don't, that's fine. We're just going to download the same version of Majisk that we downloaded before, and then we're going to install it. Once it has been installed, open it up. And if you see this message here, we're gonna go ahead and tap on OK to allow Majisk to finish setting things up, and then it's going to reboot your device again. This time when we boot back up, we are definitely going to have the Majisk icon in the app drawer. We can open that up to confirm that Majisk does see that the binaries are installed. And we can even go in and download a root checker app. open it up and confirm that everything is set up properly and that apps will prompt you when they request root access. I hope this video helped everyone with a Samsung Galaxy S23, Galaxy S23 Plus, or Galaxy S23 Ultra who wanted to root their phone with Majisk. I expect the stable version to receive the proper patches in the near future and will pin a comment to the top of the video when that has happened. If you run into any issues during this tutorial, or maybe you just have a question about Android in general, then please don't hesitate to leave a comment down below and I'll be sure to reply as soon as I'm able to.